All right, guys. Hey, is this going to work? We're going to try out something new today. See if I can uh, get into the, the, the flow of it with this webcam thing I got. Okay? So, we'll see how it goes. Uh, here is problem number one. Uh, number one okay? Um, A through G. Okay? We're going to see how this goes. See if we like it better. Okay? It's going to be trickier for me to stay out of the way, but I'll, I'll try, okay? So, number one, A, okay? The question is, name the vertex for angle four, okay? Hopefully, you can see this well enough. This is angle four, right? Right here. What is the vertex? Okay, so what is that asking? Okay, where does that angle come to a point at? Okay, it's right here. And on my screen, it looks kind of small. I don't know if uh, I can zoom in or something. We'll figure that out later. Okay, but the vertex is this point. And this point is B. Okay, so the vertex of angle four is B. Uh, so know that. Okay, name the sides for angle one. Name the sides for angle one. Okay, here's angle one, right here. Okay, it's kind of small. What is a side? What's one side for that angle? Okay, don't just copy, right? Say what it is, think what it is, put it down, you get it right, erase it, and fix it when I tell you. Okay, so one side is B, C. Okay, so, sorry, A we can put here. The answer is B. Okay, question number B. Name the sides of angle one. It is B, C is one side. And B, D is another one. B, D is another one. Oh gosh, my computer froze up. How do, how do I stop that from happening? Okay, so B, C, B, D. Now, C here. Write another name for angle 5. What is another name for this angle right here? Angle 5. Okay, what points make up that angle? I'm going to keep touching this so it doesn't freeze. Okay, what's another, what, are, what are the sides, what, is the, what are the points that make up that whole angle? Okay, so what makes up five? It is angle E, or this should be closer to there, E, B, D. E, B, D. And this is all stuff you've been doing. So this should be kind of re a review. This should be making sense to you by now. Like I say all the time, if it doesn't make sense, come see me because you need to know this by now. Okay, A, B, C, D. Okay, so next one is D. Classify each angle. Okay, so your worksheet says classify F. Where's F? F, B, and C. Classify that. What's another name for F, B, C. Well, it is angle two. Angle two. Okay, angle two. Okay, the next question, classify E. What is it? E, B, F. E, B, F. Okay. How can we classify that? That whole angle there is split by that bisector. So we can say angle four plus angle three makes up that whole angle. Okay, so that's your answer for here. Angle A plus angle, what did I say? Three. Oh gosh. You guys. I'm, I'm dumb. Angle four four there and angle three make up e b f okay 
And the last part of that is classify um, angle A, B, C. What makes up this? What makes that up? Okay, angle three and angle two. So you can Mrs. put. Mrs. Colbert, will you please come to the office, Mrs. Okay. Colbert? You can put angle three plus angle two. Right, that would be um, a correct response for that. Okay, so now uh, E, name an angle bisector. What is an angle bisector in all this diagram here? Okay, take some time to think about this one. Okay, remember that term bisector um, means it cuts an angle in half, right? In, in perfect um, cement, symmetry, okay? So the, we got one bisector right here, okay? Um, bisector, so E, um, B, C, okay, this right here, B, C, B, E, I lied, B, E, B, E, bisects, okay, it cuts D, B, A in half, okay, B, E cuts D, B, C, B, D, B, A, what happened there, I don't know what happened there, Anyways, in half. So that is your bisector. BE is a bisector. Okay, I gotta fix that. I messed up on that. E. Okay. Now to some real problems here. Okay. If how do I wanna fix this, guys? Oh gosh. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay. It says no, now we're on F. Okay, we're on F. If measure angle E, B, D is 36, so fill this in, is 36, and D, B, C is 108 degrees, okay, find E, B, C. Find this. Okay, how can we find E, B, C using these two uh, degrees there? Well, that one's pretty, pretty simple because it gives us the it gives us our equation, right? E, B, D is thirty six. D B, C is 108, so it wants the whole thing, okay? So our, our equation is simple as 36, by the way, 36 plus 108 equals 144 degrees, okay? Pretty simple there, okay? <clears throat> G. Okay, E, E, B, F, E, B, F, okay, E, B, F, that right there, this whole thing is 117, that whole thing is 117, okay, that whole bit is 117, find A, B, E. So it wants us to find this part right here. Okay. What could that be? It wants to find A, B, E. Well, we know that is I messed up on that one too. It's even easier than 
uh, it looked. Okay? Because it gave us this as 36. Okay? It gave us that. Okay? And we know that this is a bisector. This line is a bisector between 5 and 4. Okay? Bisector means these two parts are going to be equal. So with that information, we know that ABE is 36 degrees. Okay, so in this short video, I found two mistakes that I made when I was sitting down during uh, parent-teacher conferences and doing this assignment. So let this be known. As you're doing this stuff, pay attention to what I'm doing because I do make mistakes. So figure it out. But there we go. That should be, uh, yeah, that should be it. If I read it right. If EBF is 117, find measure ABE. Yeah, there you go. Simple as that. 36. You know what that's 36. Yeah, bisector. Correct. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this. We're going to find out if this worked uh, well enough or not. If not, we'll have to figure out uh, another way to do this. Okay. But like I said, watch these videos, go over your assignments, quiz yourself, uh, pay a little attention so you can learn. Uh, at this point, you guys are, have all been passing your quizzes and your tests, so it's working, it's going well, okay? Um, don't wait till the last second to do this stuff, okay? Adios.